Peterson leads it off again. First couple months of the year. I thought he took a very big step. At all times, comes home. And street caught off by Mookie Betts. One pitch and one out to open the night. Bryant swings and blasts one out towards left center. And you can forget it. Wow! Chris Bryant will touch him all. Number 15, he crushed it. And the Cubs draw first blood. A 2-2. Two -two. And he does chase. Gonsolin delivers. Rizzo open the game. It's Mookie Betts to end the inning. That's Muncy hitting second, starting at first base. Then Philadelphia, and we touched on it right off of the top of the show. And together. Sharp cutter to get him swinging for the first out of the night. Ground ball. Hap. That's Baez shifted over there. Actually. His 2 1 to Turner. Over. And finishes off a 1 2 3 first. Cubs 1, Dodgers nothing. Oh, look at that split change. Another payoff. Three as well. Mookie into foul ground makes the play. Two out walk. Two two. Weak swing and a miss. Fooled on that changeup. Oh, two for Marietta. A base hit for Cody Bellinger. And the Dodgers have one here in the second. Grounds one to short, Bellinger to third, Baez to first, one away. 2-0, and a ground ball under Rizzo's glove, Bellinger to the plate, throw to first, in time, but the Dodgers have tied the game. Hayward and right, and the inning is over, but the Dodgers tie the game, single from Bellinger. He's got Arietta looking for his fourth kick. On comes Pollock for out number two. Big deal for him. One, two, three, third for Tony Gonsolin. To the bottom half. He leads it off against Jake Arrieta. Hits a high fly ball to center field. Ortega racing back. It's gone. First pitch ambush. Two. And Gonsolin takes the walk. Funny. Uh, oh. yeah, there should be like a maximum of runs you can. Tega is there. And towards the corner, it's a fair ball. Into foul ground it goes, picked up by Hayward. Gonsolin is 2-2. Smith lines it up the middle, but it's caught by half. Star. Got him. Same pitch, same result. He walks Rizzo on four pitches. Good pitch, swing and a miss, two gone. 2-2 two, two to half. Got him. 3-2. Lux chases up and away. One go. A.J. Pollock. will drop in for a base hit. He's got his way to second with a double. 3-2 pitch to Zach McKinstry. Is fouled into the glove. Good squeeze. Done. Grounds this one to short. Candy Hop Baez steps into a fastball of a throw to get Sue. Losing streak. We're going to see some key pieces. The left and the leadoff. Is he three for three when he breaks his bat? He's got at least two hits when he does. Three two takes off on him. That's the fifth walk for Victor Gonzalez in his trying again with two strikes and he bunts it foul. Here's the three two. Chopper to first. Bunts it a second one. Lux to recover and Gonzalez but late. Balls in a row and he still will throw his change up. The hesitation. And the strikeout with a change up. For Jason Hayward on the first shot of the fifth. Ian Happ settles under it and misses it. One two pitch. Got him swinging. There they go. Here it comes. Ball four to load him up. Lux. It's a bounce of the first for Rizzo. There he added to the bag and that's the inning. Baez grounds one to short. There's Gavin Lux. One away in the six. Kelly brings him a 2-2 and strikes him out with the change. 99. <gasps> oh. oh, no. 98 there. Hits Contreras. Runner at first and two out. Teams last year. That wasn't a real opportunity. Breaks this one on the ground to short. Backhand step. Dodgers saw him make a start. First now comes on, puts it away, one way. Get that hand up. McKintry chases here. 
So, a one-out base runner for the Dodgers. On 1-0, Beatty runs under it and makes the catch. Two gone. Takes it outside. Ball four. One pitch. Max Muncy. Then he's there. That's the inning. For a converted starter into the bullpen. The rosin, and you can get some tackiness on your hand. Mm. A walk here to open this. Yeah. For Isnick. Carbon copy of his pinch hit base hit last night. Alcantara lays this one down to Turner. He goes to first in time with a cover in McKinstry. Well, Jimmy Nelson started to get it. In the air, out towards right center. Oh, Cody makes the grab. Here's Hayward. Marisnik advances. Coming on to make the catch. And Andy Turner to lead it off, but Hayward's there. And one pitch, one out for Keegan Thompson here in the seventh. Not going back to the MVP year. He is another one, two from Chafin. Bellinger strikes out, two gone. Baez still going back, making the catch. And ending the sends him a 2 2. He's had it for a second. Now he throws on the brakes. Got him to chase. Or to pitch. Got him to chase, but a yard off of the plate. There. That does it for the Cubs in the eighth. It stays tied at two with a scoreless inning last night. And this is the group wall between eight pits. Lux takes ball for one one pitch. Hit in the air. Left field. Back goes Peterson. At the wall. It's gone. It's AJ Pollock. Hit. Backhand play to get McKinstry. Nance has a very firm fastball. Down to third, backhand Bryant steps into it and gets him. There goes Betts. Here's the throw. Steals, Muncy hits one in the air, way back to right field. Hayward running out of room at the wall. There it goes. Six, two. Turner, Hayward is there. And that will do it. An inning. Just like they needed Muncie to go deep there or get it. Already Muncie's home run feels big. Wow. Stands there like a house by the side of the on 1 0. Hits it on the ground to first. Muncie to the bag. Two gone in the ninth inning. 1 2 pitch. And that's it. 97 to finish the night. Was the hero. AJ, that eighth inning, not only your two-run home run, but Muncy's two-run home run. Was there a certain weight lifted off of you guys in that inning? Yeah, there might have been. You know, it was a good good game to get. Uh, you know, we had a tough one yesterday, obviously, and then, uh, you know, the Cubs are a good team. They're playing as close there, so we got the two, and then uh, Max, you know, why not? Let's get some more. Not only to be able to score four runs in an inning, but against that bullpen, which has been the best in baseball. Yeah, you know, they got some good arms. You look at their numbers, they're all throwing the ball really well, and, um, you can see why, you know, they got good stuff and um, just good to get the W. AJ, do you feel like the last 10 games or so you're starting to feel like yourself again before the hamstring injury? Yeah, yeah, it's been a little inconsistent, but it's there and, you know, I just got to stick with it and put in the work and we'll see what happens. And, you know, it's nice to contribute to a win here and uh, we'll just keep moving. You know, we got a big game tomorrow and, you know, hopefully get the, uh, the second one and then win the series and keep going. All right, AJ, thanks a lot for putting on the show today. Hey, you're looking fresh, man. Look at you. Look at that suit, man. Please don't touch. <laughs> today we asked him and you a lot about his shoulder leading up to this one, but what do you think of, of Gonson's performance overall tonight? I, I thought Tony uh, keeps getting better. Um, certainly a lot more comfortable. I love the sequencing. I, I love the, uh, the change, the way he used it uh, off the fastball. The fastball velocity ticked up. But just getting ahead of guys, making pitches when he needed to, and we stretched him out a little bit more today than his last turn. So hopefully, you know, that next turn uh, we'll do the same, a little bit more. But uh, really good, um, gave us what he needed to, and the pen after that was fantastic. And uh, it was good to get, get uh, Kenley back into a game. You mentioned the bullpen there, specifically Joe Kelly and, and Blake Tran. It seemed like they got you some pretty big outs there. What can you, what can you kind of say about their performance? 
They were great. They've, they've been good for a long time. And, um, you know, when you look at lanes for, for the opposing lineup and a runway for those guys, they've dominated it. And to be able to go up and down and to take down hitters and get big outs for us, uh, it's what we needed. And uh, no one's going to give us anything. So uh, the way we pitched today and uh, was huge. And obviously, that big hit by AJ kind of uh, a big exhale uh, in, the, in the dugout. And with that, what do you think of the just kind of the overall at bats the guys took today? Obviously, we know what happened yesterday, but just overall the game planning and, and all that stuff that happened today. Overall, really good. Um, I, I thought Justin took some really good at bats. I thought, uh, you know, one of the key at bats I just don't think it, it should get lost is the Gavin Lux uh, at bat uh, preceding that AJ Homer. You know, that's a six pitch at bat, takes a 3 2 change down below. Uh, was big, it was really big, and um, Mookie getting on base and for, for Max to then create a little stress to get him ahead in the count 2-0 to get a 2-0 heater, got to get back into the count, the pitcher does, and him to deposit it. So just the tack on was big, but across the board, much better tonight. Thank you, Dave. Next question is from Mario Castillo. Go ahead. Dave, you mentioned the Lux at bat pair has reversed splits this year. Um, do you think it's helped that you guys have faced him three times this season and obviously last night? I, I do. I, I do. And, and to Pera, he's had a nice year for those guys. And the reason he's reversed is because it's the changeup. And for us to understand that when it gets hot, he's going to go to the changeup. And you got to trust it and see it and see it up. And uh, Gavin did that. And um, AJ got a pitch that he could handle, likes the straight one. and put a good swing on it. When you say it was like, a, you know, you guys are kind of breathed easy after that Pollock home run, were you guys, do you feel like the, you got a little tense there in the dugout? Lead? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I think that there's that sense of urgency. You know, I thought, uh, you know, the last, when you're in, a, in, a, in the middle of a losing streak and you're at home and you see the energy and the crowd is waiting for us to do something positive and, and exciting, and, and you just feel that. We're trying to do anything we can to win a baseball game. And, um, so, yeah, that AJ at bat, we needed it. And you can just feel it from the, the dugout. You know, 49,000 people were on their feet, and it was a lot of fun. Oh, well, much needed win for the Dodgers. They snapped the four game losing streak, getting a four run eighth inning, 6 2 the final. Yeah, a couple of ticks by the Cubs, and you know what? The Dodger pitching staff came through. Jimmy Nelson lose a little bit release release point, but Kenley Jansen at the end was fantastic with finishing it off and wow AJ Pollock and Max Muncy going deep makes you feel like the offense is coming to life and so hopefully it is something to start a moving forward yeah they're going to need some offense tomorrow because Julio Arias has got to respond to a very tough outing the Dodgers responded to the no hitter and came back tonight with a W Arias has got to respond to his rough outing all right after a 6-2 win on this Friday night